welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get the updates. Really excited for today's beer. It's another Cellar Saturday. And this is one that um, I got one or two comments in on, uh, in terms of YouTube videos about this beer. I know Sean from NerdSense and I talked about this beer. And I think someone DM'd me too that they wanted to hear my take. And... If I'm also remembering correctly, every single one of them had a negative opinion of this beer. So I am excited for today's review, but I'm a little nervous. Uh, no one mentioned like souring or, or infection or anything, just that they didn't particularly like the beer. Um, this is Dogfish Head's Wood Aged Bitches Brew, and it's 9% ABV, and it's from, looks like 2018, looks like early 2018. So approaching three years. Um, I like Bitches Brew quite a bit. Uh, the original one in particular was amazing. This is 2015. And I think that was the second time they brewed it. I don't think that was... A, no, because I think the batch was older than that, the original one. But anyway, yeah, the, the wood-aged one... If I remember correctly, I didn't like it as much. I didn't think the wood added much. I didn't, like, you know, take how much I like the regular one that, uh, you know, added to it. But um, I don't remember if it detracted either, so I'm kind of excited to get into it. And uh, you know, I wax sealed it myself, so overdid it. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the only reason people watch these videos to watch me struggle with things like that. But that wasn't too bad. Got the proper glassware, just firing on all cylinders, except for a clean glass, apparently. Wow. You. <laughs> That's one of the worst ones I've seen lately. And I legit just cleaned this glass, came down here and turned the camera on. Ugh. That's annoying. Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty darn black, dark brown to black, somewhere in that realm. Not motor oil. Uh, just under two fingers ahead. It's a light khaki, or not khaki, light mocha. It's like a dark khaki and light mocha, like whatever that would be in between those two things. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a, a bigger stout. Does they say anything about what? Oh, yeah, here we go. Stout brewed with honey. I thought there was more stuff in it. It is. It's just honey. Okay. I thought I had more adjuncts. Yeah, ale brewed with honey and gesho, whatever... G-E-S-H-O, whatever guest show is, but this one is not saying that. Anyway, let's get to the aroma. I get oak tannins, I get a lot of roast. <sighs> Raisins. Baker's chocolate. Kiss of vanilla. Yeah, I mean, that chocolate is not milk chocolate. It, it is very much like Baker's chocolate. It's that dark chocolate. I'm definitely getting, like, oak tannins. Hmm. There's a... How to describe it? There, there's like, there's an aroma that kind of mutes things, which is kind of weird. It's like papery. Ah, uh, is it? Is it? Uh, uh, okay, I don't want to put like cardboardy, it's oxidized or something out there, but that's the best I can describe it right now. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. I like the taste. Yeah, um... Yeah, you're not, like, when, when you see honey, you know, it's not a sweet beer. Um, it's roasty. It, it drinks like a lighter Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, the mouth is thinner than I want it to be. Like, that'd be... That's probably my biggest negative of this. The, the flavors, I think, are good. But, like, that's kind of, for me, the biggest thing it's lacking in. Yeah, because like the aroma, you're getting this roasty, dark chocolate thing. 
And yeah, it, it's it's kind of like Russian Imperial Stout ish. Um, you have that vanilla, slight drying from the oak. The aftertaste is is almost straight. Like I had a piece of very dark. I shouldn't say very dark chocolate, but um, like somehow if you could take the sweetness out of like a, not that there's much sweetness in something like an eighty percent cacao count uh, chocolate bar. Um, because it, it does have a very dry finish, but it has about that level of chocolate intensity is what I mean. Um, and then there's this underlying roastiness. It doesn't approach coffee. Like you can definitely tell it's, it's from the malt. Um, it, it, and coffee would take it to too high of a place, which this does not do. There's that kiss of vanilla like I got in the aroma. It doesn't have that muted, papery, like whatever that was that I was smelling. I'm not getting anything that's kind of like masking flavors or having a bad covering up of anything. The beer is interwoven. The flavors, I should say specifically, are interwoven pretty nicely at this point. You do take a little bit of a ride. It does stay on the dry side uh, for the whole you know trip. Um, Yeah, I mean it's that it's that body that, that's that's what's killing it for me. But the flavors I think are very good. Um, it's smooth and uh, yeah, it's reminded me of, uh, of a nice Russian Imperial Stout, but just a lighter version of that. Um, I, I could see you know the stouts are getting so sweet. I can see you know uh, uh, palates changing. I certainly love sweet stouts, uh, so some of this might seem a little I don't want to say jarring, but definitely different. Um, that body, again, I could see that being a deterrent, deterrent for people. Um, yeah, now, now I'm kind of curious what people were thinking about this in terms of negative. I remember one person said, like, it's been taking a long time to drink their six-pack. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting who said what. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. It's not knocking my socks off. The first time I had Bitches Brew, I was with my friend Jeff, and he and I were like, this is amazing. And... Um, you know, I'm not having that reaction either, to be fair, but I think this is good. I'm happy to be drinking it. I'll leave it at that. Um, so yeah, thanks for the recommendation, uh, people. Uh, that's really awesome, you know, and uh, people seem to be uh, grooving on these Seller Saturday videos. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.